Well, the skies are clear now and the sun was shining today, but earlier this week, heavy rain brought flash floods to many of Utah's natural wonders. Fox 13 News reporter Jenna Bree reports from southern Utah, where volunteers are taking this weekend to give back to the land they love. To me, Sand Mountain is nothing less than precious. 20,000 acres of off-road paradise sprawl just 10 miles east of St. George. My son is disabled. The way he can get out here is in the seat of my Jeep. The last time my stepfather drove a vehicle was on a trail on this mountain before his vision got so bad he couldn't drive anymore. This is the kind of memories that this place makes. But recently, the golden sands have been littered with trash. The thrilling landscape is attracting new riders unfamiliar with the terrain. There's a little bit of a divide between side-by-side -side community, dirt bike community, four-by-four -four community, and for us to be successful in keeping trails open, I believe we all have to come together. This Friday and Saturday, we have a very valuable resource here in Sand Mountain. Utah Public Lands Alliance brought together dozens of volunteers to clean up, but also improve accessibility of the land. We're installing signs that are directional signs, just like you'd have at a street corner, that show the trail intersection so people can find their way better. And then also specifically to name the obstacles. Sand Mountain is one of the few places in Utah that is an open OHV area, which means riders can go anywhere they want here. If you see something that could be a trail, you can just make your own. There are not places like this in the world. This is such a unique area. You want people to explore it and just really experience what Southern Utah is all about. The Bureau of Land Management relies on the passion of these people. We don't always have the resources and time to get some work done. And these, gr these groups come together to help us manage the land and they get the community engaged. Knowing that most people in the U.S. don't have access to public lands, shared stewardship, is something these Utahns treasure. It's not government land, it's my land. In Hurricane. It's your land. Jenna Bree. And we need to treat it as such. Fox 13 News, Utah.